So, uh, welcome to Numbers World. Today we are going to solve past papers of 32nd International Kangaroo Mathematics Contest, which was conducted in 2022 for equilier level, that is for grade 3 and grade 4 students. So, let's start it. Question number one, Buzz the bee wants to reach the flower, which set of directions will get him there? So if we look at the face of the bee, it's towards right side. So obviously she, the bee will move forward. So we will not consider our option B and E because in these two options, the arrows are downwards. So if we consider option C, the bee will move forward, downwards, forward, downwards and forward. So she will end over here. So that is not the correct option. Option D is um, when uh, B will move forward and then she will come three steps downward. So she will end over here or so not uh, do the flower. Now we will consider our option A. The B will move forward then downwards. Forward and two steps downwards. Then she will take a uh, turn to the right side and she will reach to the flower. So option A is the correct option. Question number two, four of the following are a picture of a great wheel at the Luna Park. Which one is the different one? So if we look at the sequence of the balls, there is one blue, two yellow, two blue, one yellow, two blue and two yellow balls. Similar sequences are repeated in option A, B, C and D. But in the last option, option E, there are two blue, two yellow, two blue, one yellow, two blue and one yellow, which is different than rest of the options. So option E is the correct option here. Question number three, Rositsa wants to put two coins in each row and in each column of the grid. Which coin does she need to move to an empty cell? So here we can see there are two uh, coins in the first, second and third row. But there is one coin in the fourth row and three coins in the fifth row. Now let's check it uh, column wise. There are three uh, coins in the first column one coin in the second column but there are uh, two coins in the third fourth and fifth column so obviously she will move one coin from here uh, as there are three uh, coins in the first column and first row so she will move c from here so when she will uh, move a coin c from here and put it beside the b then there will be two coins in first and second column as well and uh, two coins in the fourth and fifth row as well. So option C is the correct option. She will move C. Question number four, what is the smallest number of boxes that Bill has to move to be able to open the dark train box? To reach the dark train box, he will move the boxes of books, music sheets and board games first. After that, he will move the boxes of stuffed animals and bedding then he can easily pick up the train box. So he will move at least five boxes to reach the train box. So option C is the correct option here. Question number five, Kangoo always makes one large jump followed by two small jumps on the number line. As shown in the picture, Kangoo starts at zero and ends on 16. What is the number of jumps that Kangoo makes? So in first large jump, he landed on two and when uh, he took two small jumps with it, he landed on three and four. Now, in the second uh, jump, he will land on six, then seven and eight. In the third jump, first he will take a gap of two, then one and one. So, he will land on twelve. And in the last jump, he will land on fourteen, then fifteen and sixteen. So, in total, he will take four jumps to reach to the 16. So, option A is the correct option here. Question number 6. Anna makes a jigsaw where two squares with common sides do not contain the same number. Which piece should she use to complete her jigsaw? So, if we look at our option A, here, when we put this piece in the center, uh, here, one will be with one which is not correct because we can't take two same numbers together. So option A is not the correct option. Now, if we look at option B and if we put it in the center, then uh, this two will be 
with this too. So that is also not correct. In option C, uh, when we put it in the center, then four will be touching this four. So that is also not right. So obviously option C is also not good. Now we have option D. Here when we put it inside, then no same number is touching. So we can choose option D here because in option E that uh, 3 will be with this 3, so which is not right here. Option D is the correct option. Question number 7, 2022 plus dash is equal to 2020 plus dash. Which two numbers can be written in the two boxes to make the statement correct? So we will check all our options one by one to find out the answer. For example, if I put 3 with 2022 and 5 with 2020, in that case, uh, my equation is correct. Like 2022 plus 3 is 2025 and 2020 plus 5 is 2025. So both are same. So that's why option A is the correct option. But if I try option B, I put 4 with 2022 and 1 with 2020. In that case, 2026 is not equal to 2021, which is incorrect. So, option A is the correct option. Question number 8. John builds the tower shown. Which will he see if he looks at his tower from above? So, if he is looking at the tower from the above, first of all, he will look at the rectangle in the center. Then, second rectangle. He cannot see third and fourth rectangle hidden under the second one. And then he will see the rectangle of base. So from the top, he will see three rectangles which are given in option C. So that is the correct option. Question number nine. Five cars numbered one, two, three, four and five are moving in the same direction. First, the last car overtakes the two cars ahead of it next the second last car overtakes the two cars ahead of it finally the middle car overtakes the two cars ahead of it in what order are the cars now so we can see the last car is five when it will overtake two cars it will be before three so the new sequence is like that one two five three four now, according to the given instructions, the second last car overtakes the two cars ahead of it. Now, the second last car is three. When it will take over the two cars ahead of it, it will come after one. So, this is the sequence of the, in the cars. Now, uh, it's given that uh, the middle car overtakes the two cars ahead of it. The middle car is two. And when it will overtake uh, the two cars ahead of it, the new sequence will be 2, 1, 3, 5, 4. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 10. The ages of a family of kangaroos are 2, 4, 5, 6, 8 and 10 years. The sum of the ages of four of them is 22 years. What are the ages of the other two kangaroos? As we have to make 22, so we will um, start with the biggest number, which is 10 here. And we will avoid 5 because 5 is an odd number, so it will uh, not uh, produce 22. So now we will look at the rest of the 4 kangaroos. We have to use 4 uh, ages in total, so we will consider 10, 4, 2 and 6. That is equal to 22. So option C is the correct option. The rest of the two kangaroos have ages 5 and 8. Question number 11. During my holiday, I sent the five postcards shown below to my friends. There are no ducks on Mike's card, so he can't take option D. Tara's card has the sun on it. If Mike cannot take option D, maybe it's Kara's card because it has a sun as well. Uh, so, there are exactly two living creatures on Paula's card. We can consider option B or C for Paula. Lexi's card has a dog on it. Option E is for Lexi then. There are kangaroos on Heather's card. Obviously, option B is for Heather. 
and option C is for Paula because uh, uh, Paula's guard had two living creatures. So we are left with option A, which is Mike's card, and it doesn't have any duck on it. Question number 12, Moses wanted to sum of the three numbers in each row and in each column of the grid to be the same. He made one mistake, which number must he correct? To find out the answer, we will add all the rows and all the columns. So the total of all the rows and all the columns should be 15. But there is some problem in the second row and first column. We will see what is common in both of them. It's 3, which is wrong. Because uh, uh, if we uh, re replace it with 2, then the total of the second row and first column will also be 50. So option B is the correct option. He must correct 3 and replace it with 2.